Yo, what is up YouTube? Rapid here, back with another Jump Force type video. And as you can see by the title, um, we are gonna be talking about things that Jump Force needs to do to, you know, improve their game. Get people to come back and play this game, get new people into this game, and um, just for also the, the satisfaction for the people who already play the game. You know what I'm saying? There's, there's a lot of things I feel like they could put in and change that um, would definitely help the uh, competitive atmosphere and even the non-competitive atmosphere. And, um, I don't know. It's a very fun game, but you know it has its problems, has its flaws, and definitely feels kind of unfinished. You know what I'm saying? So um, I don't know. We'll kind of get into the list now, um, of course. But or go ahead early on. Please leave a like on the video. Um, subscribe for more Jump Force content and Jump Force information, and etc. And um, we'll get into it. First thing I want to say is the no most to me personally the number one thing that they need to do is take CACs out of ranked matches. Alright, so so pretty much like I what I do on my channel if you watch my past videos, um mainly I play ranked matches and I post post in ranked match gameplays. Now most most of the reason why I play post make uh, ranked match gameplays is because at first I start off by playing you know um, regular friendly matches. But honestly, friendly matches and rank play is literally the exact same, but rank actually has a system, you know what I'm saying? That's literally the only difference between rank and friendly, and that's not a good thing, in my opinion. Um, now, in friendly, I feel like you should be okay to use CACs all you want, you know what I'm saying? You go busted CACs in friendly matches, but in rank, where it's supposed to be competitive, and fun, I feel fun, you know what I'm saying, because I, I want a competitive atmosphere, but at the same time, I don't want to be set at a disadvantage just because I do not personally use CAC. Now, you've seen CACs in my videos in the past of me using them. Every single CAC I've posted so far literally is built after a character, and mainly I don't even really use them, you know what I'm saying? Like, I have a Sakura CAC, I have a, have a um, Todoroki CAC I posted, you know, things like that. And, um, I don't know, I didn't do that one joke video. Of course, I never used that CAC, I deleted them right after I, I made them, you know what I'm saying? So, um, I don't know, it's just, it's just kind of a thing that really needs to be taken out, and really, a lot of people have been saying, but, I don't know, Ben, I actually went to see their, um, their community. But, um, second thing, and they also actually involve CAC as well, is put a sword style CAC in style in the game. So if you don't know what I mean, there's three type of CAC styles you can use. There's A, which is um, like Dragon Ball, and Goku moves. Um, then you have um, B, which is like a pirate, and it's pretty much Luffy's um, moveset. Um, like when I say moves, I mean like heavy heavies and and uh, rushes, rush attacks and grabs, all that stuff with Luffy's and how you how you how you start up and stuff like that. And then third is the um is like ninja, which is like a blend between like mainly Kakashi, but there's also some aspects of Naruto I believe as well. But um. I don't know, a sword style would be amazing, you know what I'm saying? Because you can you can you can customize your character to have a sword, but they can't use that sword, you know, and even if you have a sword attack, you still can't use it. And it doesn't make sense you get that like that like blue sword and sometimes it doesn't really match up with the move that you have. I don't know, I think it should be dope if you could have a sword style CAC. So you can um customize, you know, sword style player, you know what I'm saying? Um CAC that might be an anime that's not in the game. Or just have a dope CAC sword style character. I don't know. But um, I don't know. I think that definitely would be dope. Um, uh, third on the list is a rematch option. Now, when I say a rematch option, I they need to put a rematch option only in friendly. Obviously, in rank match, they do, they do not need to put a rematch option. That that honestly be kind of pointless to me because I when I'm in rank, I won't face different people. I face the same people enough. I feel like um so. That's definitely not something I want in ranked, but in friendly match, you know what I'm saying, so you can run it back, you know what I'm saying, so you can pretty much, um, I don't know, you know, I, I think that should be the best thing for them to do, um, because it, it just makes it more simpler when you're facing friends, you can do a rematch option instead of like having to go out of the menu, come back in, and, and, and buy them again, it just takes too much time, you know what I'm saying, it's, it's annoying, 
you know, it's not like too, too super serious, but it still is annoying and something that definitely should put in the game. Um, but, um, fourth is a tournament mode. Now, this could be a tournament mode, also, it could be a King of the Hill slash mode, you know what I'm saying? Either one would be dope, or even both, because like a tournament mode is like, you know, doing something like how Storm 4 or the past Storms all have. Where you can actually have a storm, have a tournament mode, have eight eight players, and they go up against each other and see who wins at the end. Or you can do like King of the Hill, which like more the Con MK11 has, where you know it's like you know winner stays up. You know what I'm saying? You can pick characters, and you can do the matches and until it's your turn, you can practice the matches and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Like that'd be that'd be really that'd be a really dope thing to have in the game. And it'd definitely be a, a new aspect in the game. Uh, so you can play with your friends, help some of us YouTubers, you know, who post live streams and face um, subscribers, um, to be able to fight them in an easier way than um, than you can right now. Because right now it's like you have to have to make a list, you have them have the subscriber invite you. Which for the subscriber is kind of like unfortunate because like you have to wait, you know what I'm saying? You can't play while you fucking wait for them to turn on. Like sometimes you have to invite them. It's just it's it's honestly a, a hot hassle, I guess you say. Um, and the fifth thing I feel like they need to put in the game is they need to take out grab into ultimates. So if you don't know what I mean, a lot of people it's not not every character can do it. There's only a select few characters. I think it's about. I want to say 10 plus CACs um, can, can do a grab into the ultimate, um, and it does hella damage. You see me done, do grabs in the ultimate as well. You know, Dio's one of my favorite characters to grab in the ultimate, and I think I've done it on this panel with Rukia as well. And Sasuke I've done it quite a few times. Um, Sasuke is a little bit more balanced because you can escape from it, but like with Dio's and Rukia's and like um, Goku's and shit like that, but there's literally nothing you can do except for awakening. That's the only way you can escape it. You know what I'm saying? Like, that shit is whack. You shouldn't be able to fucking grab somebody into ultimate, because grabs are, um, unblockable. So, since they're unblockable, you can pretty much get them pretty easily unless you backstep or sidestep. Most people will try to sidestep it, but most people will aim it towards the back of them so they can still grab them, you know what I'm saying? So, I don't know, it's kind of, it's kind of dumb. I'm kind of losing my breath here. Talking so much, but um, next we'll go into the next thing, the sixth, and bring characters that people request in season two. Now, obviously, season one DLC is kind of set, dunno, and stuff like that. But um, but uh, in season two, even though um, you know, like Leandro um has came out with um like screenshots and animations and stuff like that of characters who could possibly be in season two is still not confirmed and i think that i think they need to take in consideration what people are requesting like maybe like pa fucking you know just characters people are requesting some some like you know what i'm saying like, i'm not gonna say no names bro you see right rika you know what i'm saying y'all y'all i cannot pronounce her name but y'all know who i'm talking about uh, i don't know if she's really been requested i don't know we really want her you know what i'm saying that's cool mha is a new generation but we probably would prefer Todoroki. you know what i'm saying but i don't know we, we won't get into too much of that uh, i'm sure that won't happen anyway so um the last the seventh and last thing that they i felt like they should do is um either do like group battles or do a battle royale mode. Now, this is going to be that will take this will take so much time probably to do because um, but well, I don't think it will take that much time. And when I mean like battle royale, I do mean like group battles, like kind of how J Star has that three on three um, kind of fighting. And then like you, you, you have three characters. You know what I'm saying? You, you and two other people, online people, real people, going up against three other real people. But you're not switching in and out. You know what I'm saying? Like y'all all y'all all, all six of y'all are out at the same time you know what i'm saying and it's team versus team or you could do every man for himself that'd be lit you know what i'm saying like, like even if it was max six characters six people in the lobby i feel like that would be perfect and i think they really should consider doing that you know what i'm saying but i don't know i if y'all i don't think this is all considerations all the ideas 
that I came up with that I feel like Bandai should take under consideration. I'm sure maybe they have took it under consideration and it can't be done. I don't know, but I feel like it wouldn't be too difficult to put some of these options in the game and take some of these options out of the game. You know what I'm saying? So, um, yeah, if y'all enjoyed the video, please go ahead and leave a like. Subscribe for more. But, um, let's, we are almost at our goal 100 subscribers. You know what I'm saying? We are at right now currently I'm making this video 87 so um yeah um i appreciate all the support and uh peace out